Hello everyone, welcome to Website Education Investment. Today in this video, I'm going to share some updates uh, from Dot Sama. So first of all, the crown now, congratulations to the cross network. Uh, they win the 30th uh, slot. And so they are going to have the parachain slot with uh, 71,000 dot contributed. And the second one is about the, uh, the Bifrost. Bifrost, now the gate.io and the MEXC, they all support the deposit and withdrawal for the BNC. Uh, so for both um, Bifrost, Pogda and the Kusama parachain. So now if you have the BNC, you can deposit that to the exchange. So that is a uh, kind of good news uh, now um, from today. And the A Star Network, they have a pumpkin carving contest, which would be fun. They will have uh, three winners uh, by November first. So you have a few days. Um, it's very simple. You just uh, put some picture right with a pumpkin and a photo, uh, and the post that with the comments. So just like this kind of comments, um, and then they are going to select the the three. Um, three winners. Um, next one would be the Org. So Org is also a parachain. They have the website now. Uh, they solve the problem. Like uh, they used to have an issue, the by frost contributor cannot check the rewards, but now they solve the issue. So you can you can now uh, check your rewards. And so for example, I'm going to just uh, check the stats. So they are using the stats from Web3 Go. Um, and I'm going to just uh, randomly copy one of them. All right, so now it's going to show you the crown on the oval and how many of them would be unlocked. So it's not linear, it's every like three months. So you can see that every th three months, uh, you're, you're going to get some uh, org token. And so that's from the org. The next one would be the Park Dot Community Call uh, that will be happen tomorrow at 5 p.m. CEST. Uh, and I would highly recommend all of you should join if you have time. Uh, you can set up the reminder, and uh, um, it will happen tomorrow. You can you can get all the updates from Park Dot. And so I'm looking forward to that. And the uh, centrifuge, they have some governance like uh, vote. Uh, they have the snapshot vote um, for the onboarding of the five uh, connectors on centrifuge. So they start to get the connectors, the first five of them. Uh, you can vote right now. Uh, right now, it's uh, they have a lot of a huge amount of uh, safety already vote. Yes. Um, and the same um, from the centrifuge, they have another new governance process and framework. Uh, and uh, this basically is a new one like, for all the future governance like proposals. Right? You should have different provo proposal type. And um, so I need to explore more detail like what kind of type um, we would have, uh, including like, emergency proposals, all kinds of proposals. And they have all the details. Details. Um, feel free to add comments. They have some discussions here, and so that's from the centrifuge. And so now I just want to share um, um, the, my opinion. Like the the park dot, uh, they have so many. You can see that we, they have so many like different parachain, right? And the, each parachain, they are just like the L1 um, project similar like the Ethereum. So like Centrifuge itself, it's kind of the L1 um, parachain, like, uh, like Ethereum, they can have their own uh, ecosystem. ASTAR, they have their own ecosystem. Actually, ASTAR, they have the smart contract for a lot of uh, uh, like, uh, dApps on ASTAR. And if you go to the website, you can see that they have NFT, they have uh, uh, like uh, DAX, all kinds of things. And also Moobeam and uh, Paranet Finance for borrowing and the lending, right? And uh, and now you you will see more and more like uh, uh, more and more like uh, uh, parachains uh, will be on board on um, Parkdot. And so I think 
this will be very very good for the park dot i think after all the power chains they are on board uh, like uh, park dot itself it's layer zero it it will have all the layer one power chain from uh, the ecosystem so not like the different power chain uh, they have different focus and uh, i think that's why like park dot uh, would be better than some other uh, like uh, blockchain um, because they have uh, each of them right each parachain uh, and then you know like uh, one of the bottleneck for those uh, uh, th those blockchains it's, it's just like the speed but um, but it, for the park dot they have hundreds of parachains and each of the parachain they can handle they can like process uh, the, the 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 request and you just multiply one time so the uh, the amount of data they can process will be much higher than other l1 parachain so um, so I think that's one of the benefit and the, and the uh, and also like uh, you can see the uh, the park dot uh, they have some very very like uh, uh, good parachain projects uh, that will just do similar things uh, they can uh, have the EVM compatible so that means uh, all of the, uh, the the project from Ethereum they can easily build on park dot as well so because they are the EVM compatible like all of the data from the park dot you can also interact with the uh, ethereum um, so uh, those two um, like blockchain they can interact with each other and also the park dot there's another benefit of the park dot they have the xcm uh, and uh, the xcm really will just help all the parachain projects they can communicate with each other and uh, the park dot itself uh, the Rene chain will will guarantee the security, and so I think all the parachain like, they just focus on their work. They don't need to worry about security. At the same time, they can also easily talk to other parachain, and so you could imagine like 100 parachain. That's just like. A, a big city right a big city that um, park dot will build and all of those uh, 100 parachain they can use xcm and uh, talk to each other very easily uh, and now with uh, this evm compatible and also some of the parachain they can communicate with uh, outside of the park dot so for example the composable finance that's a parachain project that's going to work on the interaction between Parkdot with other blockchains. The like all the like project they will be connected, and the, the the important part will be the safety part. So the Parkdot is safe. Uh, I didn't notice any kind of a big rug pool projects on Pogdot and so I think that's kind of the benefit why I like Pogdot or not and why I think Pogdot is better than some other parachains and so just share my my uh, thoughts uh, and hopefully this will be helpful and so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time bye